After Effects looks really complicated, and to be honest, when I first started using it, it is pretty complicated. But if you know a few of the basics, you can really get navigate and get yourself around. Um, I have started a new project, right? Um, in After Effects, they're not called projects, they're called compositions. Like the animations you're creating are called compositions. Projects can refer to, you could have a project file with a bunch of different things in there, but they're not necessarily in your active animation. So I've already created a new project, right? This is my project panel here. Um, I'm going to create a new composition within this project, and I'm just going to use assets that I've got here in After Effects. So I'm going to click on New Composition. Um, standard is going to be this HD um, 1920 by 1080 that's your standard landscape I tell students um, the frame rate leave it alone duration is at 30 seconds right now leave it alone right leave it alone you can always edit it once you're inside it's easier to leave it at the size and then make it smaller and then the, this is going to be my background color but we're going to change that so that doesn't matter and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK um, by the way, if you're a teacher or um, if you are, a, you know, if you're a student even and you want to learn how to zoom in and out, I'm on a Mac. This is under my accessibility. Um, I'm able to hold control and then zoom in and out. It's great for demonstration up on the board. Um, I'm going to take my shape tools here, right? Um, if you've been using other Adobe programs, there are things that are similar, so we know how to use shape. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape. Now, something that After Effects does is it always puts your anchor point in the center of the entire frame, right? And we don't want, I kind of want it on my shape and I want to change the color of my shape. So here's my options up here, right? I can change my color. I can add a fill. I can add a stroke. Um, this has a gradient to it. If I didn't want a gradient to it, I can add something else. Um, I can edit the gradient, right? By choosing other colors along the line. Now it's going to be a little bit brighter. Um, this is my stroke that's here, but I just want to play with the shape here. I'm going to activate the shape so that I can grab my anchor point. This is a pan behind slash anchor point tool and I'm going to take that guy and I want to make sure that my anchor point is right on the center of the shape. Now I'm just going to do something super basic with After Effects so you can do a very simple animation. Just going to, I'm going to move it from one side to the other. Nothing fancy just to show you the transformation controls. So now that this item is on my stage and I come down here to my timeline, um, here is the contents, right? Here's all the things that have to make up this rectangle. That's a lot. I'm going to collapse that because we don't want to deal with that right now. And I'm going to open up the transform controls, right? Now this, again, this is very basic. I just want to move it from one side to the other. But what I need you to understand here is that if you want action to happen in After Effects, you have to set and tell After Effects, this is where I want it to begin and end. I'm at the beginning of my timeline. I'm going to change the position of this rectangle. See, I clicked on the keyframe, the little clock right here, right? And it set a keyframe in my timeline. I'm going to move myself ahead in the timeline. And then I want to, I got my move tool. I'm just going to move my shape ahead as well, right? So what this means is that from one second one to second two or two seconds, right? This shape is moving from one location to the next. The lines, these dots right here, this path, the closer together the path, the, uh, the dots, the slower your shape is going to move. The further apart the dots are, the faster your shape is going to move. You could at any time come down here and move. See, I'm moving it closer and it's going faster, right? So I can go ahead and edit that at any time. Let's go ahead and move that guy back, right? Anything I want to have change or be affected, I set the keyframe scale. I want the scale at the beginning. Now, I'm going to just type in a number there, right? Zero by zero. That at the beginning of my video, my shape is at nothing. I move myself ahead in time. Um, let's go ahead. So I'm trying to show you that you can kind of pop a number in there, type a number in there, and now it goes from that. So let's see what happens. It's going to change shape and size, right? How about let's go back to the beginning. Let's play with the opac or let's play with the rotation, right? At the beginning, it's I don't even I can't, I can't even see it. Doesn't really matter. And let's move myself ahead in time. And I'm gonna put my cursor. Let's do a zoom in here. Put my cursor underneath. And if I scroll, right, see how it's rotating. Sorry, the screen is moving too. Um, but see how it's rotating. So now it's going to rotate, change size, and move from one side to the other. Now, if I want to continue moving it, I just kind of keep going, right? Um, if I have my move tool and I'm just playing with the position, I can move it to another position in the document, right? And I can continue doing that.
I mean, so in a very basic way, right? If you really just really wanted to play with the After Effects and make something move for the first time, you can just experiment with these transformation controls. This line right here is the entire length of my video, right? I'm gonna kind of, this is my workspace. I'm gonna pull that in and let's go back to the top of the queue. It's an eight second video. I hit the space bar to see it play and there we go. It's super slow, it's laggy, but I made something move in After Effects. So if you're opening up After Effects and you're just mystified by the whole thing of it, right? The basis of it is these keyframes, right? The basis of it is these keyframes and setting these keyframes. I'm gonna give you one quick tip too. Um, by selecting all the keyframes at once, right clicking with your mouse and choosing that easy ease, it automatically changes the, what the keyframe looks like and it just kind of makes your animation kind of roll a little bit smoother. It's good to put on almost, almost anything, virtually anything. Uh, one last thing I want to show you too, if you're trying to edit but you can't, right, and your keyframes look like circles, that's because you have to open it up, oh, not all the way up, you have to open it up until you find those keyframes. Sometimes when you're experimenting and you're animating, it turns to a circle and I can't edit it and I can't move it. It's because it's in here, I got to open it up and find it. So hopefully this was a good beginner, right? Beginner video on how to move things around in After Effects. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to see more cool things to do with the Adobe programs. Thanks for watching.